Soul retrieval has been a tradition in indigenous culture across the world since the dawn of humanity. One is finally being taken seriously as a powerful, a viable means of healing because it actually works. It actually works. When we experience trauma during our lives, parts of our soul, parts, parts of our essence flees or hide in order to protect uh, the selves, to cope with that, with that pain. And this is called soul loss. And it can take a form of depression, anxiety, dysfunctional relationship, and a sense of separation, feeling stuck, or a sense of inability to move forward. And all of this can be a symptom of soul loss. And uh, it's also important to know that trauma can also be familiar or uh, intergenerational ancestral and can come from injury, assault, physical or emotional abuse, accident, uh, that of a loved one, you know, from divorce, uh, war. And sometimes trauma can extend uh, back to the, to the womb of infancy and may even uh, stem from having our, stem from not having our needs properly met. Because everybody is a unique individual and we all have individual needs. And oftentimes as, as infants, we, we cannot communicate our needs. And if we don't have those needs properly met, that can and often leaves us with a little bit of soul loss. Quantum physics explain the principle of conservation of, of energy, that nothing is created or destroyed, is that everything simply takes a different form. A fractured power or a fractured soul doesn't disappear, but rather takes a new form, which is often hidden, a hidden form. But it's always ready, ready to return to its original state. And people have massive breakthroughs in their healing journey after a soul retrieval. And often time, often time, uh, people, they get a lot of compliments for looking younger after a soul retrieval. It's fascinating. But I would like to caution you, because when we return the soul essence, we are returning power. And power needs to be held with kindness and care. Kindness and care and a service to others. So you as a client, you are taking the full responsibility for being an active participant in your own healing process. And what's, what's different about the soul ritual that I offer is that the sacred geometry type of a soul retrieval, the way I like to call it, sacred geometry, a soul retrieval, um, it goes goes back to the womb of uh, creation where the soul was created with uh, the race of creation and reconnects the original blueprint of creation while blending your intention for you to know yourself with creation, uh, creator's intention for you uh, to know yourself. And when we blend this two, just miracles begin to occur. And in this type of uh, sacred geometry, type of soul retriever, the client has a more wholesome experience. It's the client that has the experience of of the soul being uh, retrieved, as opposed to the traditional shamanic uh, soul retriever, where the shaman retrieves the soul and then uh, it passes around through, retrieves the fragments of the soul and then it passes around through, through the client. So through this sacred geometry type of retrieval, it is the client that has a very deep, meaningful experience that will never, never leave you. Never, never leave you. And this is something you can do in the comfort of your own home, uh, depending on your budget. Uh, this is something you can do uh, one-on-one. This is something that can be done um, in person or uh, remote, as the soul doesn't have limits that there's no boundaries uh, uh, to it so depending on your budget i made this type of uh, sacred geometry soul retriever available for you to practice on, on your own time at a very very insanely um, uh, affordable affordable price so so take a look at it and, and enjoy and 
enjoy the process, um, give it a full weekend, um, cleanse yourself, honor yourself, open to, to receive the, the parts of your soul that are ready to, um, that you are ready to, to integrate in this particular moment and then allow for the rest of the parts to come integrate with you when 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 you are when you continue to become a radiator and and right the radiator and um and enjoy it and, and enjoy it and, and be it and receive it and and, and enjoy it all right <laughs>